Hello, this is Paula from the Knitting Pipeline Podcast. I'm going to demonstrate the sewn bind off that I learned many years ago from Elizabeth Zimmerman in Knitting Without Tears. To execute this bind off, you need a tapestry needle and a long bit of your wool. I chose the blue color because I thought it would look the best. It's one of the last colors used on the ribbing. This is Piri Fleurs by Kate Davis. It's a Fair Isle hat and it is knit from the bottom up but I actually started it above the ribbing and then I knit the ribbing down afterwards which means that I then need to cast off the corrugated ribbing. Corrugated ribbing is not as flexible or as stretchy as regular ribbing, but nonetheless, you do want a flexible edge. I tried a couple of cast offs and ended up going back to the old standby here, the sewn bind off. You start this out by threading your tapestry needle. You have to have about three times the length of your garment or whatever item it is and then a little more for good measure. You go in two stitches as if to purl, the first two stitches on the needle as if to purl. I've already done that, <laughs> these, two, these two stitches, so it's not going to look quite right. But And then the next stitch you go in as if to knit and then slide that off. So I like to think of it actually from this point where I go in as if to knit and then go in two stitches as if to purl. Now watch the sequence. This is what I actually wanted you to see. Go in the first stitch as if to knit. What's going on there? Wouldn't you know it had to catch there? I think the Okay, in as if to knit, and I slip this one off as I go, and then in the next two as if to purl. This is very similar to Kitchener. Okay, so I'm on next step, in as if to knit, slide it off, and then in the next two as if to purl. So if you think of it as knit one, purl two, kind of is a good way to remember it. In as if to knit, slide it off, into as if to purl. It is slow going. It's not the fastest bind off. And one disadvantage is that your yarn does wear a little bit because you're pulling this strand of yarn through a lot of stitches. So for a neck edge, it's not my favorite because it tends to wear. But as you can see, it has as much stretch as the corrugated rib, and it looks pretty good. It's not a very obvious bind off. That's the Sewn Bind Off by Elizabeth Zimmerman, and I am Paula from the Knitting Pipeline podcast. This will accompany episode 130.